Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's meta build, we'll be covering the newly updated Foe Tracer and combining it with one of the most powerfulest heavies to use in game that tended to get overlooked. Leviathan's Breath tends to be a sleeper hit with most of the community, but gets overlooked because of its draw time. However, if you can bear your teeth with dealing with the draw time, the following damage output is extremely powerful to use in a lot of content. This is why today's build is going to show you why you should use the two following together as they can trivialize this season's GMs without breaking a sweat. To start, you're going to want to have Vanishing Step where dodging makes you invisible. Then you want Trapper's Ambush where activating your quickfall will allow you to turn yourself and allies invisible. As the build will be mainly used for building up ability and super energy fast so we can deal with the tougher enemies in the end, investing in invis either way will benefit us and the team when we need it most. Fragments used are Echo Obscurity, where doing the finisher on a target makes you invisible. Echo of Explosion, where Void Ability Final Blows cause targets to explode. Echo of Instability, where getting a Void Kill grants volatile rounds. And Echo of Provision, where damaging a target with grenades grant melee energy. All of the following fragments will play a big part in how the build works and function, while also not being too negative with stat distribution. At best, Echo of Instability and Provision will be the two key fragments to have, as instability will grant you an AoE damage boost with our void weapon, which is key with clearing out areas much faster. While provision is handy as we don't have a high strength stat to start with, but with key mod added to help bolster this area further, we can in fact use this to either help our team with or use it to quickly get our times for void surge when our grenades are out. If you have the stats to get your strength stat higher, then by all means do so, as discipline and strength will be important from here onwards. For the mods and stats section, having a high mobility, discipline and intellect will play a big part within the build and success. Mobility at tier 7 with Fond of Agility for a overall tier 10 stat will be helpful when we activate our dodge to go in this quickly, but also for activating our gambler's dodge ability, which we can use to get our full melee back. At this stat, we can get a 22 second cooldown, which is powerful enough for us to use and use outreach and distribution both in hand. You can reduce this down to tier 7 instead and then invest into strength instead, as that does have a higher value here. But this would depend on your skill level and if you feel confident enough with not needing to use your invis so much. A discipline at tier 7 is also another good spot to aim for, as with Fund of Focus available, this will push it to tier 10 and a cooldown rate of 53 seconds under the magnetic grenade usage. Although it may sound high at first, the following is not actually too bad when compared to all the other grenades we can pick. The following grenade is just more better and accurate to use when landing our shots, and this alone makes using Foe Tracer's effect much more potent in game. Lastly, Intellect at tier 7 with Font of Wisdom for a tier 10 cooldown and Deadfall added will give us a 5 minute 48 second cooldown rate. Although long at first, we will have things like Hummock Siphon and Fire Power on hand which will grant orbs of power to us quickly and speed up our process from the here onwards. This will now leave you room for additional mods. Charged Up will be giving us a plus 1 to armor charges held. Then having a harmonic siphon and fire power will allow us to create orbs of power while on the go. A times one void surge mod for constant 7% weapon damage buff will also help with taking down certain tough enemies much more faster. Please do note not to add any more surge mods because of how potent Foe Tracer's effect will be and how it will overall any additional ones you then decide to add. Time dilation mods will extend the duration of all time based mods we have to around 15 seconds and the ammo finder mods such as heavy ammo finder, reserves and scavenger are key for making our heavy choice more viable in a lot of content we play in. Now lastly, the weapons being used will focus on bows as they tend to be the best option for the build and endgame in general. Under your skin with dragonfly and archer's tempo is a great custom role to have as the damage is decent and the dragonfly effect is great as they add clear option when propped. Having something like Foe Tracer times 4 and Volatile Rounds effect while using a bow makes it a hard hitting and surprisingly fun bow to use as it doesn't feel like you're struggling to land your shots and need to waste a heavy amount of shots to get a kill. It's definitely that weapon you want to at least own and have one on spare for anything that requires precise shots. Heavy, we have the Leviathan's Breath which offers players a very strong impact and stagger effect which is capable of stopping a lot of mini bosses in game. 
Although it may have a very high draw time that puts most players off, it will make up the best in damage, and this right here, for GMs, can destroy bosses within 3 health phases, within 3 hits, funny enough. It's got to be one of the most slept upon weapons when it comes down to damage, as its very slow effect does put players off, but 9 times out of 10 the damage coming out tends to overrun or overrule whatever heavy weapons are being used by your team, although this will vary from time to time. The new debuff Foe Tracers offers players of all types an easy way to have a constant damage buff on demand without the need of anything complicated to achieve this, which is something I do want to see more often of. This is new coming from Bungie as they have done this with a few other exotics to rework how they worked. Along with the buff, it also comes with an additional feature of granting users an elemental pickup which can be both busted or simple depending on the user's setup. So what makes the Void Foe Tracer the best out of this? Well, to start, a Void Hunter has two ways of debuffing that they can easily apply. For just simply weakening targets to just making their lives a lot more easier. And thus, it also makes using your heavy, like the Love Iron's Breath, hit a lot more harder along the way. Secondly, its ability to grant two distant abilities allows us to keep our distance and still trigger Foe Tracer's effect with a little requirement needed to back this up. Thirdly, and most importantly, Invis Hunter is very busted and powerful to use when doing anything GM or endgame related, so you have a much more easier time to survive whatever hardship is given. This is why the following build will fit in for those who don't want anything too complicated, but want something that hits hard, has good ability regen, and can easily rely on whatever weaponry they need and still achieve the job well done. The fact that Leviathan's Breath and Foe Tracer combo isn't too known or mentioned by a lot of players tells me that it's going to be picked up sooner or later once some of the more popular builds start to calm down. Times 4, Foe Tracers with Leviathan's Breath, with Tether debuff and Volatile Rounds is in short a ballistic missile fired from a bow, which I'm sure you can use your imagination to see how that works out. Great for pretty much anything you have in mind. I don't think I need to explain anything more than that except for just to make sure you manage your ability regen rate correctly so you don't lose out on that major buff. Except from that, enjoy and what do you think of the build? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub bar here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. I've got more stuff like this that I have a players available covering all types of build you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.